Now, weather week, summer threats. Tornadoes are not frequent visitors to our area, but when they do touch down, they certainly leave their mark. Tonight, we'll take a look at some memorable twisters and get some insight into why we don't see more of them here. Meteorologist Pete Mangione joins us now from outside of the National Weather Service's new headquarters in Norton. Since some of the notable tornadoes in Rhode Island history, technology like the Doppler radar behind me has changed a lot. But the memories of some of those tornadoes are still fresh. It was July 23rd, 2008, almost 10 years ago. Control room is ready. We're going to go both stations at the same time. We should go now. This is Get prepared. Get ready by the minute. Do it. The EF-1 tornado started as a water spout just off Rumstick Point in Barrington. Then it moved into Warren, tearing up trees, damaging homes, and knocking down power lines. There were trees down pretty much everywhere. We recently caught up with Dorian Souza, who was working in Warren about a block away from where the tornado touched down. She didn't even know it had happened until her daughter called. I looked up Harris Avenue, and there was trees everywhere, branches everywhere. It looked like splinters, toothpicks, all the way up the road. And I said, oh, my God, there really was a tornado in Warren. The August 7th, 1986 Providence tornado was part of an outbreak. Three tornadoes in less than 24 hours. It started in Cranston, then smashed into downtown Providence. Its path of destruction included the Fulford Manufacturing Building. National Weather Service meteorologist Eleanor Valier Talbot, in her first year on the job, was on her way back from vacation when the storm hit. They said uh, something about a Providence tornado, and we looked at each other like, oh, really? <laughs> The storm database from the National Centers for Environmental Information goes back to 1950, and it only has 11 confirmed Rhode Island tornadoes. Valier Talbot helped us dig through some older reports that include a destructive tornado that passed just south of Providence in 1838 and an 1882 Johnston twister. The book, Historic Storms of New England, also mentions a northwest Rhode Island tornado from the 1700s. While tornadoes can happen in Rhode Island, the Atlantic Ocean and Narragansett Bay do offer some protection. I think the main reason is the marine influence. Uh, in other words, the water has a cooling effect and the air coming over the water into Rhode Island tends to weaken the storms. Over the years, there have been quite a few instances in which funnel clouds have been seen rotating over the sky of southern New England, but it doesn't officially go into the record book as a tornado unless it makes contact with the ground. I'm meteorologist Pete Mangione, Eyewitness News. Pete, thank you. Weather Week continues all week long on the air and online. You go to our website right now to check out our Storm Ready Resource Guide. And there you'll find a ton of helpful information, including what you need to know about flood insurance, a printable disaster kit shopping list, and a link to coastal conditions.